Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Windows Server 2016 in virtual environment. So for the virtual environment, I am going to use the Windows 10 machine in which I have installed the VMI Workstation 12. So let's go for the installation. So I'm right now I'm going to create a new virtual machine. Select typical and select next. So this is the image disk which I have which was downloaded from the Microsoft website so here you can see it was a version 10586 this is the latest version which was released from the Microsoft so after selecting this disk image select next so leave it as it is select yes here I'm going to name it as Windows Server 0 so browse for the location to save the So I have saved the virtual machine in the F drive. Now select next. Here give 20 GB of disk size and select store virtual disk in a single file. Now select next. Go to the customer server. Remove the unwanted hardware which is added to your virtual machine. And close it. Select finish. So it will take some time to create the disk. Let's wait. The disk creation is going to get finished and it was over. Let's go to the full screen. Select OK here. So the setup has started, it will go to the installation process after this process gets completed. Here you can see there are two options, both are 64 bit architecture. First one is a core edition, second one is a GUI edition. And here you can see it does not include a GUI, and here you can see this option is useful when a GUI is required. So, in my previous video, I have installed the core edition. So, right now I am going to install the GUI version of the Windows Server 2016. So select this option and select next. Since it was a technical preview, it did not ask for the license verification. And since I am installing it in a VMware workstation, it will ask, ask for the disk partitioning. It will automatically take the disk partitioning and it starts the installation. So if you are installing it in a standalone PC, you can see all the options like disk partition, agreement, everything. So it will take some time. So I'm going to pass my video and return after this installation gets completed.
the installation is going to finish. It was installing the update, so after installing the updates, the system will get restarted. So after restarting, it will configure the GUI version of the Windows Server 2016. So it will take some time, so you need to be patient till that. I'm going to restart. So here you can see the devices are getting ready. That means it was installing the device drivers. So after the device drivers get installed, like GUI, USB, motherboard, etc. etc. So now it was get ready by 50%. So after completing it will directly boot to the GUI desktop.
so it has configured the user profile service and it was finished let's change the display settings Since it was the first time, it was taking too much time to load. And since I'm also using the VMware, it was slowing me down. So wait for this file to get finished so it was extracting some files you need to be patient so you have the start menu here or options Windows administrative options server manager PowerShell PowerShell ISC so everything was here have all apps so it was a ditto of the Windows 10 operating system and completely different from Windows Server 2012 so this was the server manager dashboard so in my next video I will explain how to use the server manager dashboard. So here you have the Windows Server 2016 technical preview which is a 64 bit operating system and in my next video I will explain the server manager dashboard and how to install both CPU pages and Windows Server 2016 and also more and more will be delivered from this Windows Server 2016 in the future please subscribe there was some sound some guys are doing carpentry work in the layer so some sounds are disturbing my video and sorry for the disturbance and thanks for watching the video